This is the most isolated and mysterious island in the entire world. No one really knows anything about what really happened here. There exists in the midst of the great ocean, in a region where nobody goes, a mysterious and isolated island. This is described by the 19th century French seafarer and artist Pierre Levy. The island is planted with monstrous great statues, the work of I don't know what race, today degenerate or vanished, its great remains an enigma. This secluded haven, known today as Easter Island. What if everything you thought you knew about Easter Island was completely wrong? For decades, scientists believed this remote Pacific paradise was the site of an ecological disaster that wiped out an entire civilization. But shocking new evidence has just shattered that theory forever. The real truth about what happened on Easter Island is far more disturbing than anyone imagined. The world's most isolated mystery. Before we dive into the shocking discoveries, Let's talk about just how incredibly remote this place really is. Easter Island, or Rapa Nui as the locals call it, sits in the middle of absolutely nowhere in the Pacific Ocean. We're talking about one of the most isolated inhabited places on planet Earth. Picture this, the nearest inhabited land is Pitcairn Island, and that's still 1,200 miles away. Chile, which actually owns Easter Island, is a mind-boggling 2,300 miles to the east. To put that in perspective, if you wanted to visit this mysterious island, you'd need to fly for five straight hours from Santiago just to reach it. And that's your only option. There are no boats making regular trips to this remote volcanic speck in the ocean. This tiny island is just 63 square miles, smaller than most cities, yet it holds 887 massive stone statues. That's more than 14 statues per square mile. Imagine cramming 14 school buses into a single square mile, except these buses are made of solid volcanic rock and have been standing guard for centuries. The Hidden Bodies Mystery. Picture this. You're standing on Easter Island, staring at those iconic stone heads dotting the landscape. But here's what will blow your mind. Those aren't just heads at all. In 2012, archaeologists made a discovery that changed everything. When they started digging, they uncovered something incredible. Full bodies buried beneath the surface. These statues, called moai, aren't just massive heads sticking out of the ground. They're complete figures, some reaching heights that would make you dizzy just looking up at them. The tallest complete statue towers at 33 feet and weighs a staggering 90 tons. But get this, they found evidence of an incomplete statue that would have reached 70 feet tall and weighed nearly 300 tons. That's like stacking 20 cars on top of each other. The alien theory debunked. Now, before we go any further, let's address the elephant in the room. You've probably heard the wild theories about aliens creating these statues. Ancient astronaut enthusiasts love pointing to Easter Island as proof of extraterrestrial intervention. After all, how could primitive humans possibly create and move such massive monuments on a remote island? Well, here's the thing that completely destroys the alien theory the stone itself. Every single statue was carved from volcanic rock that comes directly from the island. Scientists have traced the material to Rano Raraku, an extinct volcano in the northeast corner of Easter Island. Sorry, alien believers, but these statues are 100% homegrown earth rock, not some otherworldly material. But that doesn't make the real story any less incredible. In fact, the truth about how these were created and moved is far more impressive than any alien intervention. The walking statues phenomenon. Now here's where it gets really weird. Local legends claimed these massive statues walked to their positions around the island. For years, scientists dismissed this as folklore. But then something extraordinary happened. American researchers decided to test this walking theory they created a full-sized replica and discovered that by tying ropes around the statue and rocking it back and forth, 
they could actually make it walk across the landscape. They moved their 10-ton replica over 300 feet using this method. The statues literally walked into place, just like the ancient stories said. This wasn't magic, it was brilliant engineering. The Rapa Nui people had figured out how to transport these colossal monuments across their island using nothing but ropes and coordinated movement. The statue factory discovery? Here's something that will completely change how you think about these monuments. Most people imagine ancient sculptors scattered across the island, each carving their statue in its final location. But that's not what happened at all. The vast majority of the Moai, 834 out of 887 to be exact, were all carved from the same material, compressed volcanic ash called tuff from that extinct volcano I mentioned. This wasn't random. Rano Raraku functioned like a massive statue factory, with skilled artisans working around the clock to create these masterpieces. But here's the mind-bending part. The carving process took place between the 13th and 15th centuries, meaning this factory operated for roughly 200 years. Generation after generation of master sculptors refined their techniques, passing down secrets of how to work with volcanic stone. Each statue follows a distinctive pattern that makes them instantly recognizable worldwide. They feature elongated faces with prominent noses, wide chins, rectangular ears, heavy brows, and those haunting deep-set eyes. There's even an incredible detail most people miss. The nostrils are carved to curve inward like fish hooks, a signature artistic touch that appears on statue after statue. The population puzzle. But here's the mystery that haunted researchers for decades. When Europeans first arrived, in 1722, they found only 1,500 to 3,000 people living on the island. How could such a small population have created 887 massive statues? The math didn't add up. Until now. Recent studies have completely rewritten Easter Island's history. Scientists now believe that at its peak, the island supported a thriving population of up to 17,500 people. This wasn't some struggling community barely surviving on a barren rock. This was a sophisticated civilization. These people were agricultural geniuses. They turned 19% of the island into productive sweet potato farms, using volcanic rock as fertilizer a technique so advanced that modern farmers are still studying it. They supplemented their diet with abundant seafood from the surrounding Pacific waters. The Kneeling Singer Among all these standing giants, there's one statue that breaks every rule. Meet Tukuturi, the only Moai found in a kneeling position. While his brothers stand guard with their backs to the ocean, Tukuturi kneels with his face lifted skyward, complete with a carved beard. Scientists believe he represents an ancient singer, captured forever in the position performers took during sacred festivals. Made from rare red volcanic stone instead of the usual gray tuff, Tukuturi stands as a unique testament to the artistic diversity of Rapa Nui culture. The Guardian Theory Here's something that will give you chills. Nearly all 887 statues face inland, turning their backs on the vast Pacific Ocean. Why would a seafaring people ignore the sea? The answer reveals the true purpose of these monuments. They weren't built to impress visitors or worship gods. They were protectors, eternal guardians, watching over the villages and farmlands of their descendants. Each statue was positioned to oversee specific communities, standing sentinel against unknown dangers. Only at one sacred site do the statues break this pattern, facing the ocean in a mysterious exception that still puzzles researchers today. Here's something that will give you chills. Nearly all 887 statues face inland, turning their backs on the vast Pacific Ocean. Why would a seafaring people ignore the sea? The answer reveals the true purpose of these monuments. 
They weren't built to impress visitors or worship gods. They were protectors, eternal guardians watching over the villages and farmlands of their descendants. Each statue was positioned to oversee specific communities, standing sentinel against unknown dangers. Only at one sacred site called Ahu Tongariki do the statues break this pattern, facing the ocean in a mysterious exception that still puzzles researchers today. This location held special spiritual significance for the Rapa Nui people, suggesting these ocean-fearing guardians served a different protective purpose. But there's another layer to this guardian theory that's absolutely fascinating. The statues weren't just randomly placed around the island. Archaeological mapping shows they were strategically positioned along ancient pathways and near the most fertile agricultural areas. These stone sentinels were literally watching over the island's food supply and the routes people used to travel between communities. The Advanced Agricultural System Speaking of food supply, this brings us to one of the most impressive aspects of Rapa Nui civilization that gets completely overlooked. These people weren't just skilled sculptors. They were agricultural engineers who would make modern farmers jealous. The island's volcanic soil presented both opportunities and challenges. While rich in minerals, it was also rocky and difficult to work with traditional farming methods. So the Rapa Nui people developed an ingenious solution. They deliberately mixed volcanic rock chips into their fields as fertile. This wasn't random experimentation. They understood that the volcanic minerals would slowly release nutrients into the soil, creating sustainable farmland that could feed thousands of people. Recent soil analysis has proven this method was incredibly effective, allowing them to convert nearly 20% of the island into productive sweet potato farms. But they didn't stop there. The Rapa Nui people also mastered marine resources, developing sophisticated fishing techniques and harvesting methods that provided abundant protein from the surrounding Pacific waters. They created fish ponds, built stone fishing platforms, and developed tools specifically designed for deep gutter fishing. The real tragedy. So what really happened to this incredible civilization? For years, the story went like this. The Rapa Nui people destroyed their own environment by cutting down all the trees to move their statues. This led to ecological collapse, famine, warfare, and cannibalism, a cautionary tale about environmental destruction. But this story is completely false. The real truth is far more heartbreaking. When Europeans began arriving, they brought two devastating forces, disease and slavery. South American slave readers systematically kidnapped half the island's population throughout the 19th century. Those who remained faced European diseases their immune systems had never encountered. Smallpox, tuberculosis, and other illnesses ravaged the survivors. The final blow came through forced migration and cultural destruction. Within just a few generations, one of the Pacific's most remarkable civilizations was nearly erased not by their own environmental mistakes, but by outside forces they couldn't have possibly prepared for. The Scientific Revolution Today's researchers are rewriting Easter Island's story using cutting-edge technology. Ground-penetrating radar reveals hidden chambers beneath the statues. Chemical analysis of soil samples shows the island was never deforested as dramatically as once believed. Archaeological evidence proves the Rapa Nui people lived sustainably on their island for over a thousand years. These discoveries don't just change how we see Easter Island. They challenge everything we thought we knew about how civilizations rise and fall. The truth about Easter Island isn't just a story about the past. It's a reminder that the narratives we accept as fact might be completely wrong. These incredible people and their walking statues deserve to have their real story told. If this hidden history amazed you as much as it did me, smash that like button and subscribe for more mind-blowing discoveries that challenge everything you thought you knew. What other facts about ancient civilizations do you think might be completely wrong? Let me know in the comments below.